Hey guys, we are at uh, Gigabyte and Kinner is here. He's going to be talking us through some of the X299 boards which are due for release very soon. And we're going to start with this top end model here. Okay. Uh, hello guys, this is a uh, Gigabyte X299 Arrows Gaming 9 motherboards. And this is our uh, most uh, flagship one. So it supports the uh, KBLAC X and the Skylake X CPU for Intel. So it has a 18 design and with a triple M.2 slot and then and the triple killer LAN. So both killer LAN and one killer Wi-Fi and USB 3.1 with a type C and Q flash. And the, the most uh, interesting part is the uh, uh, new backplate with the metal quality. And also you can see from here the the motherboard itself have a, a very uh, nice LED effects. And we put the new feature we call the uh, uh, digital LED. So you can see the color over here is very beautiful. Okay. Uh, I can see on the M.2s here, uh, we've got some devices or, or they look like heat sinks. What do they do there? Uh, actually, this is a heat sink for the M.2. So you can reduce the uh, working temperature. In our lab test, uh, we can uh, decrease the, uh, the performance drop on certain scenarios. Okay, and that would obviously help with performance on your M.2. It won't throttle uh, back or anything. Uh, it will it will run as an original speed. Will not uh, have a, a performance drop due to the high temperature. Okay. Um, just looking around the board, obviously this is a high-end um, X299. Uh, what are the speed of these um, PCI Express lanes here? Uh, actually, all the uh, GTX graphics card now support the two-way SLI. So the, for the uh, first uh, slot and the, the third slot can support a 4 by 16 speed. And uh, for the rest, uh, can do uh, by 4 and also for the by 8. Okay, lovely. And uh, I suppose the other thing to really ask is um, USB 3.1. Um, how many ports have we got on this board here? Uh, on the, on the back side, you can see there's a four type A and the one type C. For the front side, we have a one type C, so total is a six. I think it's pretty enough for the, all kinds of purpose. Should be enough. Um, okay, and the uh, last thing really, I guess, is uh, availability and pricing on this. Uh, we will launch this product with the Intel, so we believe uh, people can purchase it uh, over the internet or retail shop around. Uh, June 26. Okay, they can we will probably will do a pre-order uh, followed by uh, Intel guideline. Then the 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 local price we expect will be uh, 600 US dollar. Okay, and we've got a load of other boards here. Can you just talk us through uh, the series and the different uh, models which are available? Okay. Uh, this these are other Arrow Gaming motherboards from Gigabyte for X299. So for the for the mainstream. Gaming motherboards, we have Arrows Gaming 3, okay? And uh, for the, a little bit high-end, we have uh, Arrows Ultra Gaming. And for the high-end one, we have uh, Gaming 7. So we have uh, all kinds of uh, Arrows Gaming motherboard with uh, different features. So uh, end user can purchase the based on their uh, preference. And I expect these boards are going to be available similar sort of uh, um, date as, as the Gaming 9, is that right? Yes, all of the, uh, I think, I think the Gaming 3, Gaming 7, Gaming 9 will be uh, on shelf on the day one. Probably the Ultra Gaming will be uh, one week or two weeks later. And which is the, uh, the cheapest board here which people can expect? Which uh, one is I it? I think it's Gaming 3. Okay, uh, what's the rough price on that one? Uh, for the Gaming 3, we expect uh, around uh, 300 uh, US dollar for the MSRP. And uh, just also is a rough idea um, what features are being cut back compared to the gaming 9 on this board here uh, if you consider about the feature actually all the arrows gaming motherboards the power design is similar so all kinds of a uh, kb lake or the skylake x cpu can be fully support and you can see the 18 the sli so the the key feature is difference is uh, about the led support and also like uh, uh, ethernet support there's no wi-fi and no USB 3.1. And uh, for the audio design, we use the same chip, but uh, for other components, uh, it's a little bit different. So experience is also a little bit different. But if you want to have a, a, 
uh, affordable gaming motherboards for the X299, I think uh, the ROS Gaming 3 is a very good choice. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thanks very much for that overview.